Hello. Um, so before I really get into the the, uh, the main topic of this video, I have a request to ask of you know my mom, my friend Hannah, and I guess anyone else who watches this video. Um, please give me feedback. Any feedback is good. What I'm doing well, what I'm doing not well, what, what I can work on that, that that's especially helpful. Uh, things that are interesting, things that are not interesting, what's easy to understand, what's not easy to understand. That way I'll be able to create better videos, have better, better, better teachings, better Torah, you know, that, 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 that's more interesting, that, that applies to what people want to hear. If not, I will continue to be uploading things that I learned, things that are I'm, that I'm inspired by, but it would definitely be very helpful to, to get a little bit of feedback, to know what people want to uh, know about, what people want to see. Any topic, nothing, nothing is off, uh, off limits. Uh, if I don't know it, which I probably don't, then I'll do my best to learn it. If I can't learn it, then, you know, I, I won't make a video. But anyway, today I'm going to be talking about, about uh, blessings. Blessings on food, particularly, before and after food. I'm going to focus a little bit on, on some intentions that you should have before food, but I'll, I'll, I'll also give a translation of some of, the, some of the blessings so that you know more or less what you're saying. So when it comes to blessings before food, when it comes to various types of grains, anything with flour, anything with, with really any grain, but not bread, specifically not bread, we would say, Praised are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who creates the various kinds of sustenance. Great, simple enough. Um, all of these blessings start with, Praised are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, blank. So I'm just going to skip that part out. Now we know, Praised are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe. Baruch atah Hashem, Elokeinu melech haolam, Okay, so the next one we have when it comes to when you're drinking wine or grape juice, not grapes, but grape juice products, you would say, same beginning, praise the you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who creates the fruit of the vine. The fruit of the vine is wine. The fruit of the vine is not grapes. I know you might think that it's grapes, but grapes are um, incomplete. Wine is a complete product. Whole, whole, lots of, lots of topics and discussions. I can talk for an hour on, on, on that alone, but I'm not going to do that. All right. So then when it comes to fruits, uh, including grapes, you would say, same beginning, praise the you, Lord, our God, ruler of the universe, who creates the fruit of the tree. It's easy enough, obvious. All right. Great. Let's keep going. Praise the you, Lord, our God, ruler of the universe, who creates the fruit of the ground. What do we say that on? You guessed it. Fruit of the ground. Vegetables, potatoes, you know, things like that. Watermelon, you know. A pineapple is also grown ground. It's great stuff. All right. Keep going. Um, so now, if you're having uh, pretty much any beverage except for wine or grape juice, or you're having a candy or, or, or like process, something that's so heavily processed that you, you can't really tell exactly what it is, a lot of food falls into this category, you'll be surprised, then you'll say, Praised are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, that everything came by his command. You might notice I'm looking down a bunch. Let me use this here. That everything came by by his command. Also, yeah, it makes sense. You know, I don't know exactly what I'm eating, but I know it comes from God. Thanks, God. You know, awesome. Um, and so when it comes to the blessings after the, 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 the food, um, when, it, when, when you eat bread, or if you eat a full meal, a large meal, then you're supposed to say Birkat Amazon, or as Yiddish people will say, bench. Um, I don't know why. But so th there you say three blessings. The first blessing, essentially, there, there are whole paragraphs, but the paragraphs are essentially blessings. So the, bless the first blessing is thanking God for providing and nurturing everything. Not everyone, everything. Plants, animals, inanimate objects, and people, and everything. Uh, the planet itself as well. You know, creation. The second blessing acknowledges God for giving the Torah and, and the land of Israel uh, to our forefathers, and we thank God for that. The third blessing, the third bracha, asks God to have mercy on us for both our previous and our current mistakes, and also asks God to rebuild the temple. And then after that, there's a fourth, a fourth uh, bracha that was added on uh, after after a, uh, a massacre that happened to the Jewish people at the time of the second temple, and that blessing is essentially um, thanking God for being a good and a giving king. You might think to yourself, oh, well, after a massacre, we say the good and the, and the giving? That sounds kind of misplaced. 
but no, it's not misplaced. Um, the reason that we say that is because it said that when the massacre happened, the Jews that happened in the city of Jerusalem, and the Jews were not allowed to leave the city of Jerusalem. And on top of that, we know that we're not allowed to bury bodies inside of Jerusalem. So for ten years, the bodies should have rotted. They should have, they should have totally decomposed. They're just sitting outside. You can't bury them, but you can't leave Jerusalem. But they didn't. It's they didn't rot at all. It's as if that they were that they were just just killed moments ago. Uh, ten years later, they were able to bring the bodies outside, and then they performed proper burials. And after that, we thank God for being good and and giving and, and allowing us to to keep God's rule even even in uh, in difficult times. And so on top of that, there's a different bracha. If you if you don't eat bread or you don't eat such a full meal, um, it's a, a blessing as if for three. I'm not going to translate that one because um, I really want to. You know, so then we have another another. So, that we have after food um, for you know mi miscellaneous types of foodstuffs and also for vegetables and that one is thanking God who say praise to you Lord our God ruler of the universe who cre the creator of many souls their fault and their faults and lackings on everything that was created everything that's created has faults has some sort of lacking nothing is perfect except for God um, to, and to give them a living soul praised is the one who keeps the worlds alive. That's also a little bit of a strange bracha, but um, very deep. That's what we say. I'm not going to really go into all of the depths and, and things like that because this video is already much longer than I had intended it to be, and I didn't even get to the stuff that I wanted to talk about yet. Um, and the stuff that I did want to talk about is proper intentions that you should have when you're about to make when you're about to make a, a, a blessing. But you know what I think I'm going to do? I'm going to stop this video now, start a new one. That way we have two medium-sized videos. Bam.